Welcome back to Ravenfield. Today we have the most advanced naval mod that has ever been. Mm, I don't think it ever will be because this is a testing map, but look at this gunship. We've got main guns, anti-aircraft batteries. This thing looks sleek. I mean, you take off the guns and fill it with some Instagram models and boom, welcome to Miami. But this beautiful ship is only the smallest of the ones that we have today. This is the Corvette. And this big old beauty here is a destroyer. It's got a helicopter landing pad on the back, anti-aircraft Vulcan guns, what looks like missiles or rockets, we'll find out, and some pretty powerful batteries right here. But under the water, danger lurks. This is an attack submarine. Look at how big it is relative to the to the other ships in this flotilla. This thing is large and in charge. Now the mission here is going to be seeing if the new Ravenfield naval ships are able to take on the most vaunted and deadly of opponents, a modern aircraft carrier. Each side has it when you look at the map. There's also a central capture point and I believe that whoever captures that is going to gain access to this airfield, which will then spawn in some pretty powerful fighters and bombers to assist in the destruction of the enemy fleet. But you know what we need? We need more modern attack aircraft. This thing looks pretty impressive, but it's just a turboprop. This bomber looks like it's from World War II. We need modern weaponry because we have modern problems and they require modern solutions. Now this... This is more like it. Take a look at that. That is an Su-27 in the Ukrainian Royal Air Force. Well, I guess it'd be the Ukrainian Air Force. And this is an Su-25. This thing looks like it can bring down the hammer on some enemy. We got missiles, powerful missiles, bombs, and then rocket pods. Excuse me, sir. I would like to fly this. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at this thing. Oh, don't worry about that dead guy who most clearly was running for this plane as well. This thing is a beauty. This is a, what, Su-25 Dogfoot, I believe it's called? The jet sounds are incredible. The Su-27 fighter behind me looks pretty impressive too, but I don't know. I'm more of a ground attacker myself. So let's hear the auto cannon. Oh, <laughs> that is gorgeous. All right, what else do we got? Rocket pods, obviously. All right, then we got bombs. And as Slippy Toad used to say, use bombs wisely. Or was that Peppy Hair? All right, so let's see how much damage those things do as these, they hit the beach. I mean, you know, like post-World War II, people used to test nuclear bombs in little random islands. I mean, uh, this isn't nearly as powerful, but at least we didn't do it in an urban environment. And this, the two outermost missiles, I think, are for anti-aircraft. Oh, and... I have a little bit of a repair function, almost like I've got an R2 astromech droid on here. So the reason we took an attacker is because the enemy ships are extremely powerful. Now, since we're the Ukrainians and the other team is red, well, you know who we're going to be facing off against in this fictitious aerial duel. That is friendly, most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Look closely. You see that? That's a Westland Wyvern, the default fighter plane in Ravenfield. Oh my gosh. They must have known they were outclassed because they just like ran into our plane and took them both out. So we're going to check the map here. And it looks like an enemy destroyer is on the other side of this little island. And then right off my nose, I think there's two Corvettes and a destroyer behind them. Oh, the destroyer just fired a missile. I don't know what the like like Russian equivalent of like a tomahawk is. There's explosions over near the enemy naval installation too. I'm thinking we're gonna try to do a bombing run. Jeez, everybody's firing missiles on the destroyer because he's the biggest one, right? All right, how did we do? I'm looking for two, maybe three hits. Oh, we got two. And I think someone tried to get an aerial lock on me or a missile lock rather. You hear that? Those are torpedoes in the water. That crazy sound? Their submarine must be trying to like- Oh, we got a missile lock. Drop chaff. Chaff flares. It's all the same to me, man. I don't know, man. As soon as a, a lock is confirmed, I gotta get out of there. All right, strafing run. Oh my god. Jeez, did you see that? This thing is a beast. I've gotta say the rocket attacks are my favorite. Look at how many I can fire in quick succession, even in slow motion. Look at that. The thing is on fire. 
the, <laughs> the AI, I don't think they really know how to deal. Oh, where did that come from? Wait a second. That was, that was friendly. I'm blue, he's blue. Did the, the enemy took the airfield and they have access to these aircraft? Oh my goodness. Okay, no wonder we got hit. <laughs> We're back to normal here though. Um, that means we do have an enemy fighter. I'm gonna try to hit one down with my auto cannon. Everything in front of me is just dying. All right, bombing run. Ooh, missiles. I've like never seen a modern naval engagement before. All right, let's see if these work. Pack your bags, boys. War's over. Just kidding. It's, it's not over yet. All right, so according to my intel, the enemy carrier should be directly ahead of me. I've got to try to shoot down an enemy plane before... Oh, here we go. There we go. Enemy fighter aircraft sighted. He's going on a bombing run. Oh! And he's dead. Someone just hit him with a missile. But man, I think... He... Yep, that ship is definitely sinking. Dang. All right. Well, if you're going to take one of ours out, I'm going to take one of yours out. All right, let's do long range rockets. And if those don't take this thing out, we're switching to bombs. Oh, God. Look, that's the submarine. Is that our submarine? <laughs> I think I just dropped bombs on our nuclear attack submarine. Oh, my goodness. This plane has some considerable survivability to it. I believe we do, and it's dead. Enemy fighter plane. All I gotta do is hit it once, and he should be dead, right? Woo -hoo -hoo! Who's the ruler of the skies now, boy? <laughs> you know that scene in Top Gun where they, like, I was inverted, and he, and he flips him the bird? That's kind of how I feel right now, except the other guy's on fire. Killed intruder. Destroyed the buzzard. Yeah, that guy is an intruder. Ooh, and that missile just came from, I think, the Corvette. Okay, so as amazing as these modern planes are, we really want to try out the ships. These things are massive when you're infantry size. Oh! Oh, man, you gotta love the sound of those jet engines taking off. Okay, so this is an Argo-class Corvette. We have one 57-millimeter autocannon. Oh, my goodness. Brap, 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 brap. This thing is delicious. We have active sonar? Oh, hello, friendly submarine. Oh, that's a big island. We should not hit that. Oh, I have anti-ship missiles. Oh, okay. We have four anti-ship missiles, four CMAS anti-submarine missiles, damage control, and then we have 140 millimeter anti-aircraft gun and eight surface-to-air missiles that are going to be controlled. There they are in the back. Gonna be controlled by my AI compatriots. What is that? What is that sound? Let's take a look at the map. We're pretty well ahead of the rest of our naval fleet. All right, so this is CMAS. Look at this, man. When I'm a submarine, I'm gonna have to account for the depth of the ocean, obviously. Incoming! Oh, oh, we lock on. Those are my missiles. All the sirens are blaring. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Oh, ho, ho. where do those come from? Oh yeah, the other ship. We've taken the atoll. This is just insane right now. How big this naval engagement is. Lock warning. We've destroyed an Orca class Corvette. Are there torpedoes in the water or something? Oh wow, there's our sub. I love how you can see the explosions under the water. All right, acquire missile lock. And then I'm gonna fire my main deck gun. And then I'm gonna lock again, just in case they... Lock warning! Incoming! We might not have much more time in here. Oh, our main gun needs to reload. I was trying to take out that bomber. Strafe him! <laughs> That's another Corvette. I think we're winning. What was that? Torpedoes? Rockets? Ooh! Okay, uh, we zoomed in on our, our enemy as our propeller gets out of the water. Okay, so... I'm thinking, there's our carrier. Now, eventually, we're going to try to be the submarine and take out the carrier. This looks like an Orca-class Corvette to me. Yeah, these two are the same. They're the same picture. Now, the AI doesn't seem at all interested in giving reinforcements to this fight. Whoa. Explosion's happening. What just blew up near us? Look at how much bigger the destroyer is. I wish this was Counter-Strike, where if you ran with a knife, you go faster. Wait, is it? 
This is my ship, you idiots! There we go. <laughs> you see... You see that guy just ragdoll out of there? Okay, so this thing, we have a 120 millimeter main gun. Fire! Oh my. Oh my. How fast can we fire? Whoa. We got a magazine of five rounds, it seems. Then we're gonna have to reload. I've got four anti-ship missiles. I've got cruise missiles. Oh, <gasps> no freaking way. I mean, we knew that, but being able to use them is just something entirely different. So I think since we're a destroyer, we should allow the Corvettes to flank us and go ahead and sort of like protect us in a way. And we go in behind them. Now, I don't have any ability to see under the water, unlike the Corvette, so I'm not going to be very good against anti-submarine. I'm not going to be good as an anti-submarine. That looks like a friendly fighter. Yeah, what are, you, what are you doing? You're flying the wrong way. All right. Can I see a target? Oh, lock warning. Who? Here's the other destroyer. Are you... This is like, this reminds me of World of Warships. Where you're like, where's, where are you going? I don't want to run into you. Oh, he's, re it looks like he's really close to our friendly submarine here. All right, we've taken the center atoll. The atoll is ours. That basically gives us another aircraft carrier. Because islands can carry aircraft. Therefore, aircraft carrier. Oh! Uh-oh. I'm getting really close to my friendly sub as he just cuts in front of me. I'm gonna have to use my cruise missiles. All right, we got locks. I guess someone's trying to lock in on us. Wow, this thing picks up on targets like an incredible distance away. And the firing of the cruise missiles has to be one of the coolest things. Naval battles are hectic, especially modern ones. All right, cruise missile time. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to lead this guy. Oh wait, they'll guide. They'll go where I aim I'm aiming, right? Oh, okay. Not so much. Yes! I think I just killed two of them. Oh my goodness! Look at that! I'm the best cruise missile firer ever! Dang, boy! Wow. Sinking two ships with one cruise missile. Unbelievable. All right. I've got, what, two cruise missiles? I'm gonna try to hit a ship while it's in port. I don't know where the cruise missile is, guys. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, three missiles. Now, I know that Corvette's coming. I wish you could lock on a target and not have to, like, guide them in yourself. Incoming! Oh, we got incoming. And I'm locked into this situation. Oh, look at those rockets from the... There we go, there we go, there we go! Ramming speed! Oh, that's a friend. All right, so there should be cruise missiles coming in, right? There's a Corvette sinking behind me. All right, this Corvette versus our main gun. Oh my god. The Krakatoa class. Oh, that was a destroyer that we just sunk. We're coming in on the enemy aircraft carrier. Booge. I love the sound effects of this gun. Incoming missiles. I wish my little Vulcan anti-aircraft missiles could also be used to like destroy incoming rockets. Oh, they're strafing the port. Do we have damage control? We have damage control. Now look in the bottom left, I'm holding it down. Oh, that's ramming speed, that's interesting. I guess he's trying to board the enemy installation. You can see my health slowly but surely coming back. Oh, we're too close to use cruise missiles. Oh, the absolute carnage that is happening right now. Cruise missiles attacking the aircraft carrier. I don't know if we can sink it. We gotta find out before we go down. Oh! oh yes! I've taken out the aircraft and all people on the deck right before we died. Oh my gosh, they hit me with ground-based missiles. Shoulder-fired missiles. The Ukrainians would be proud. Now, the aircraft mods were made by a modder by the name of Ling Fang. And all of these naval assets. Oh my gosh, he took my submarine. And the map that we're playing it on. How come I can't get in it? Oh, there we go. We're made by Sofa. All of this is available in the Steam Workshop. So here is our attack submarine. We don't have like a Typhoon ballistic missile submarine, but I could see those things starting to maybe be in development and us being able to play them sometime in the future. Now the thing about the submarine is it can dive, 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 dive. And look at this, if we stay at a certain depth, we have access to our periscope here. So this is like the underwater look. This is our periscope look and 
uh, you can see in the uh, sort of like bottom right it says periscope. Now, if we dive even further, we won't have access to the periscope. So you can kind of glitch it out if you want to gain access like in third person, but in first person, you're not able to see the surf. But remember, submarines can dive and they can also Well, <laughs> not much of a dramatic emergency surface, but you know, we'll take it. So let's get back down under the water and look for the enemy submarine because our objective here, we have acoustic homing torpedoes and we have four cruise missiles. Uh oh, the depth is not as deep as we would like, Kip. I keep half expecting to see like underwater little research bases with Cthulhu like monsters. What was that? What was that movie underwater? I think where they had that. All right, so we're going to go on passive search. People are dropping noise detectors. Oh. You hear that? That could be a submarine. They could also be exp- Oh! Contact! Let's get a little bit closer, try to identify if it's friend or foe. Now, given the area, it is almost certainly enemy. But we need to confirm. Oh gosh, Raven took the atoll. That means they're gonna have access to the air assets. Pretty sure that's a ship. I'm looking for the submarine. Let's dive down a little bit deeper. Oh man, the explosions. Multiple surface contact. Contact. Bearing. 455. Since we don't have that, I'm just gonna make up numbers in my head so... I can feel like- Whoa! What is this? Sonar warning! Gentlemen. Ladies. We are being hunted by an enemy submarine. The stakes could not be higher. We need to take out the enemy aircraft carrier. They are holding the atoll. There's an enemy destroyer right behind me. Yeah, that big ship. I gotta say that, like... Being a submarine commander is scary. In Ravenfield, I mean, I can still see stuff, but imagine, like, not being able to see this. Launch, transient. That means someone has a torpedo lock on me. Oh, there it is. All right, we hid behind the terrain so that the incoming torpedo would hit it. Oh, God, we have made contact <laughs> with the enemy. No, with a submarine. And by the submarine, I mean a huge island. Whoever's captain the submarine probably should go back to the Naval Academy. So if the... Enemy torpedo was coming from over here. Now, they have anti-submarine missiles, the Corvettes do, but they don't have torpedoes. Look at the battle happening overhead. Ship's on fire. The ship's on fire! World of Warships again. Sits depth to periscope depth. We need to alert our friendly ship here. There we are. Periscope depth attained. Oh! I'm thinking we might have to go ship hunting. I can't find the... Launch transient. Where is it? I'm dropping a countermeasure. Do you see that big bubbling thing below me? The idea in the countermeasures is we're going to create something that makes even more noise than we do. So homing acoustic torpedoes would lock on them. You know what? That sonar contact is an enemy Corvette. Luckily, they don't have depth charges. Look at this ship sinking. If you haven't seen the original video where I basically play a scripted mission as a submarine to take out some anti-aircraft missiles so a bunch of transport planes can capture an island i highly encourage you to check that out after this video it's i think it's the coolest thing i've ever done in ravenfield even more so than this oh they're dropping countermeasures over there oh man my friendly corvette just got destroyed by incoming cruise missiles he got a shot off though they have no idea I'm over here. So the idea here, once again, oh, I think someone's trying to hit me with a deck gun. Okay. What we're going to do is get to periscope depth so we can launch these cruise missiles. There we go. Oh, we got to get out of there. He is going to ram us. Oh, that was close. All right. You know what, big boy? It's time to get torpedoed. All right. We have lock. Torpedo one away. He dropped countermeasures. We are in hot pursuit of what looks like an enemy destroyer. Waiting to get a lock on enemy contact, and then I'm gonna fire two torpedoes. He might have countermeasures again. Uh-oh, those fish are getting close. Third torpedo's away. Starting reload of tubes one through four. Torpedo one's a hit. Torpedo two's a hit. This thing is chonky. Torpedo three, we should have fired it earlier, and this thing has absorbed three torpedo hits. It doesn't look like it's doing too well, but it hasn't cracked in half. All right, stop passive searching. We have the contact. Lock. Fire one, wait for potential countermeasures. Fish one is in the water. Looks like it's gonna hit him right in the screws. No. What the heck? All right, all fish away. This thing is just too freaking big. We have sunk the enemy destroyer. Now all that's left is to hit the enemy aircraft carrier with our cruise missiles. Look at this, we're just enjoying this victory. I'm not sure if I can launch cruise missiles from way out here, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> 
I've got six cruise missiles, and you better be dang sure I'm using all of them. I'm starting to see some contrails right below that number two. All right, one, two, three, four. Oh, these things are away. Now, all we got to do is make sure... Oh, <laughs> we're destroying the enemy aircraft, but I don't know if the carrier has a damage model or like a health bar. I never saw the enemy submarine, but man, this is awesome. Let's move in and get a better look. Oh, this is cool. I should be able to make a lock and then fire without having to hold on to it, right? So I could probably see the missiles a little bit better. I've got to say that a modern naval battle would be absolutely terrifying. Oh, you know what? We might want to drop down because they're using missiles to hit our friendly warship here. Let's see if I can't help out with some... No, I don't want him. I want this guy. I want the big guy. No, not him. There we go. That's who I want. Two torpedoes away. One hit. Two hits. Oh! <laughs> yes! I think our ship... I don't know what it did. All right. We're much closer to the enemy carrier. We have six cruise missiles. The lock is still on, but I want a little bit forward. There we go. Cruise missile one, two. We lost our destroyer. Oh, the plane just took off. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Uh, we have a problem. Uh, maybe the missiles didn't lock like I thought they did. We're so close, but luckily they can't see us and their submarine must have sunk. Now, in real life, we'd probably have to go home and reload our cruise missiles, but this is a video game. I feel like the guy's defending Hoth. The first transport is away, but like with missiles. All right. All right. Let's see if these drop. Uh-oh. That didn't work either. They like detected the horizon and you know what we need to do is we need to lock like right here. They're trying to bomb me. But they can't hit me because I'm underwater. <laughs> you don't have depth charges on your fighter aircraft. Look at this. Enemy submarine, please disengage. Oh, oh, oh. What? My cruise missiles just came up from off the map. <laughs> because I recalibrated my lock. <laughs> that, my friends, is a cruise missile. All right. Now, we don't have amazing, like effects of cruise missiles coming up out of the water but if i'm not mistaken there we go there we go if this thing could be destroyed we would have destroyed it we should get like nuclear uh, no no know what honestly as of recent events i'm not a big fan of nukes anymore not that i was a fan anymore but like when even in video games i don't know just feels just feels different oh my god I still have cruise missiles coming from off screen oh and a bombing run oh that's a bombing run on me hey where are you uh oh Wait, does that mean the enemy sub is here? Dive, dive, dive. We have no contacts underwater. Multiple contacts on the water. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Today, we checked out some absolutely incredible mod from these Ukrainian fighter and bombers to this pretty impressive flotilla of naval vessels, the Corvette, the Destroyer, and the nuclear attack submarine on this amazing map, all testing out what would naval combat in Ravenfield be like. I'd like to say that we took out the enemy aircraft carrier and took over the atoll. So if you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.